Okay. <laughs> so today we chose to do an activity with pumpkins. I wanted to do a seasonal activity. So first we used our smart board, which is a fantastic resource in the classroom, to look at different kinds of jack-o'-lanterns, different styles that people use. The kids got really excited about the different shapes that they could put into the jack-o'-lanterns, the different ways that they create the, could create the faces. And then we all sat down together. We brainstormed a little bit about what we wanted our jack-o'-lantern to look like. So we cut the top off of the pumpkin, we made a lid for it, we pulled it off, and then I just let the kids go in and scoop out all the seeds and all the really gross, fun, yucky inside stuff and told them to get their hands in there and everything. And then we paused there and we split off into groups and I had stations set up and one station was dedicated to writing. It had the word pumpkin. I had written it out earlier and the kids were writing pumpkin themselves, so um, practicing their writing skills. And then the station next to it was kind of a math focus station and what they were doing is trying to find the biggest pumpkin seed in the huge pile of pumpkin seeds. And they had tape measures, so they could try to measure the different seed sizes and compare them to each other. And then they were gonna put the biggest one in a bowl in the center. Uh, and then the third station that we had, they had little golf tees and little wooden hammers and they could hammer into the pumpkin. So they were essentially creating their own jack-o'-lantern. And then the final station had a microscope set up and I put a little bit of the pumpkin stringy inside, innard stuff in there and they could look inside the microscope and see what it looked like up close and then draw what they saw inside the microscope. <laughs>